Lola Porg, Frihon and Eve Galer, Tafalcha is Fihidroev. You're all very welcome to this celebration of Ireland's National Day, St. Patrick's Day. My name is Pat Byrne, and I'm Ireland's ambassador based in Singapore. I send warmest greetings this evening to all of our citizens and to all of our friends of Ireland in Singapore, the Philippines, Brunei Darussalam, Timor Leste, and right across the Asia Pacific region. Thank you for joining us. The last year has been a very difficult one filled with so much tragedy, stress, and sacrifice. When times are tough, our natural instinct is to gather together with family, with friends, and with loved ones. And one of the cruelest aspects of this pandemic for those of us living away from our home places is that it has prevented us from doing that. But amidst the challenges though, we have also seen great and inspiring examples of empathy, of resilience, and of generosity. And I want to pay tribute this evening to the many Irish organizations and individuals who've stepped up over the past 12 months to help the vulnerable, to give something back to host communities and to keep all of our spirits up. So thanks to the St. Patrick Society and other Irish cultural and social groups, to the GAA and sports clubs everywhere, to the Singapore Irish Chamber of Commerce, the Ireland Fund Singapore, and so many more. I also want to pay tribute and express appreciation to the diplomatic corps in Singapore and Manila and especially to my colleagues and partners in European Union embassies in both of those cities. It has been a privilege and an honor over the past 12 months to be part of, to witness, and to benefit from the extraordinary spirit of solidarity and mutual supportiveness that has characterized that community and its response to this crisis from the very beginning. But I want to put on record tonight, very especially, how proud I am of the team that I lead at Ireland House. The embassy colleagues, the teams at Enterprise Ireland, IDA Ireland and Board BIA, and also our colleagues at the Irish Consulate in Manila. All of the people that make up these teams have worked tirelessly over the past 12 months, going above and beyond the call of duty to provide uninterrupted services of the highest quality and professionalism to Irish citizens and to Irish businesses. I'm very proud of each and every one of them. Going forward, the team that I lead will continue to devote its energies and its efforts to supporting Irish citizens and supporting Irish businesses in Singapore, the Philippines, and the other countries for which we are responsible. A priority focus of our efforts over the coming months will be to get our new embassy in Manila up and running so that it can begin to provide a full range of services to Irish citizens before the end of this year. We will also continue to play an active role within Team Europe to help the European Union and fellow member states to deliver high quality programs in development, in the humanitarian sphere, to promote human rights and to promote the other values and interests that we share in common with the European Union, at the heart of which Ireland remains. And that effort also focuses on supporting the COVAX initiative and a fair and equitable rollout of vaccine programs against COVID-19 worldwide so that we can all emerge stronger and better from this pandemic. And we will also continue to play an active role as part of the wider global family as a committed member state of the UN and for the next two years, having the privilege and the honor to have a seat on the UN Security Council. St. Patrick's Day, falling as it does, close to the spring equinox, signifies the transition from winter into spring. And the green color that we associate with St. Patrick's Day is associated also with new growth and recovery. We pledge to do all we can to support new growth and recovery at home in Ireland and in the communities we serve overseas, and to be part of the hope, the optimism, and the positivity that can enable us all to emerge stronger and to build back better. In the words of Seamus Heaney, if we can winter this one out, we can summer anywhere. Just a few short weeks ago in December, I had the pleasure and the privilege of introducing Antishak Michal Martin when he joined us for a pre-Christmas event organized by the Singapore Irish Chamber of Commerce. It was a wonderful evening when the Taoiseach shared with us many fascinating insights into topics such as Brexit, the pandemic and the Irish government's response to it, the role of the Irish diaspora, and our relationships with Asia. He also shared some personal stories of his family connections with Singapore and with this part of the world. Tonight, we welcome the Taoiseach back for a second virtual visit in the space of three short months, and we hope that it will not be too much longer before we welcome the Taoiseach for an in-person visit to this part of the world. 
Without further ado, we'd like to invite Antishuk Michal Martin to address us. Antishuk, Nedahol. Thank you, Ambassador. And I would like to wish you and everyone in Singapore a very happy St. Patrick's Day. A cardigail is a cardigalair. Los Pashilta e la ela podrig, the gach gael sawalya nu har lar. St. Patrick's Day is a special day, a day when no matter where in the world we are, we celebrate our heritage and culture. So let me begin by wishing you all a happy St. Patrick's Day to our 70 million strong diaspora and our many friends across the globe. This has been a difficult year for our Irish community abroad. Many of you have lost loved ones. You have been unable to spend time with family and friends. You have missed Christmas, birthdays, weddings, and sadly, even funerals. I want in particular to acknowledge and thank the many Irish who have helped lead the fight against COVID-19, our dedicated health workers at home, but also the many Irish doctors and nurses, research scientists and public health officials around the world. Many of you have put yourselves and your families at risk so that others might be safe. But now, at last, we can look forward to better days. St. Patrick's Day is our day, but that doesn't mean it is only for us. St. Patrick's Day is an open-hearted invitation to a global expression of community. It's a day that gives us a unique opportunity to speak to the world about who we are and how we can contribute to the well-being of humanity. There is, I believe, an ambition that we all now share, that we will learn from what has happened and that our responses will reflect both our interconnectedness and our interdependence. Just as the pandemic has brought out the best in us, we can use the same instincts to shape the future, bringing new meaning and values to our lives and to our role in the world. We are Irish, but we are also global citizens. COVID-19 has reminded us that we need global solutions and international cooperation for global challenges, that no nation, large or small, can meet these challenges on their own. St. Patrick's Day is an opportunity for us, this year especially, to express that sense of solidarity. Ireland is an open country, an outward-facing place. Irish people have always sought to make a contribution wherever they have gone. The same wish to serve inspires us now. We will work with partners around the world to overcome the dreadful pandemic and to support economic and social recovery. In doing so, we will work to make sure that nobody especially the poorest parts of the world, gets left behind. We've taken up a seat on the UN Security Council for the next two years, and we will use that position to work for peace and security throughout the world to the very best of our ability. We will continue to reach out a hand of friendship and hopefully, when we can, to welcome people back to Ireland, including those of you that have been unable to visit in recent times. As Irish people down the ages have done, we will try to make a difference every day, no more so than here on our island. As we approach the centenary of the foundation of our state, building on the achievement of the Good Friday Agreement, we will work through our shared island initiative to underpin peace and to advance the cause of reconciliation, shaping a better future for all the people. Our history, our culture, our values and our experience place us in a position to do great good in the world. There is an Irish saying, is there ska a chéile a varan nadini? We live in each other's shadow. It speaks to our sense of interdependence, of community and solidarity. Let that be our message on this special day for the global Irish. And so to conclude, we are thinking of you all today as you celebrate throughout the world. We are looking forward to welcoming you all home soon. Until then, Berbua, Benacht, Agusgrev Mila Mahagav Galer. Thank you, Tishuk, for those inspiring words. I said earlier that these times can make us feel isolated, make us feel far from home. But I think that Tishuk's words tonight have helped us to feel closer to Ireland 
And it's also been heartening and reassuring to hear about the hard work that the government is doing on all of our behalves to ensure a recovery for all of the people of Ireland at home and abroad. St. Patrick's Day is a time to celebrate the genius and the diversity of Irish creative talent. The artistic sector has been severely affected by COVID. But like other sectors, the artists and performers within it have shown extraordinary flexibility, resilience and imagination in order to ensure that they can continue to create, to entertain and to provoke. Next, we're going to showcase some wonderful examples of contemporary Irish culture. This reminds us of one of the great prizes that awaits us when we beat this COVID pandemic, the opportunity to come together again for live performances in theatres, in concert venues, pubs and cinemas. Enjoy the fruits of these artists' labours. Cheer and sing. Enjoy. For this special performance of their song Dynamite, the enchanting harmonies of Saint Sisters Gemma Doherty and Morgan McIntyre are accompanied by musicians from Crash Ensemble in the glorious setting of Derry's Guild Hall. I guess it's time we talked about the funny way you move your mouth when you look at me. I guess I always knew, but then a part of me was crying when you said, OK, let's talk. Darling, what did you expect? My lover hasn't noticed yet what's happening. I don't want to watch the train, always heavy or no rain and dynamite. It's meant to be Passers-by do not react When you give me a heart attack I wheel my back Never mind what people say I talk to you whatever way I want to On a sunny weekend last year, 41 children from Ork Dausa Dance Club became a choreography and film collective, dancing to the music of the Bothy Band in favourite places near their homes in Leitrim, Sligo, Roscommon, Mayo, Fermanagh, Longford and New York. Together they have created this shared celebration.
Kilkenny-based Cartoon Saloon have become one of the world's most acclaimed animation studios. This specially produced sequence combines footage from their latest global hit, Wolf Walkers, with a live performance by Keela, whose music features in the film. Huh? Hey, English girl! Where'd you think you're going to dress like that? I'm a hunter. Oi, a hunter! Would you listen to her fancy dancing accent? I am a hunter, just like my father. He's the best hunter there is. No, he's not. My father's the best hunter. Yeah, well, we're hunting wolves for a long protector. You're a protector, but my father in chains for nothing. You English are so great, but you're not. You're not. Go home. First, this is going to cost me. No. Oh, we'll pay for that English girl. Hey, 
With that, we are coming to the end of this evening's event. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us to help us to celebrate our National Day, St. Patrick's Day. You can watch or share a recording of this event on the Ireland.ie platform, where you can also visit our virtual Ireland house and learn more about why Ireland is a great place to do business, to invest, to study, and when circumstances permit, to have a holiday. You can also follow news and developments from the Embassy on our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Achorja, dear friends, we have all been through a dark tunnel together, but thankfully now we can see light at the end of that tunnel, and I'm confident that we'll soon emerge into much brighter times. For now, we can all continue to do our part by following public health guidelines and by looking out for our welfare and the welfare of others. Let me finish by wishing you all once again a very happy St. Patrick's Day. Lola Porig, Fuihana Dave Galer. Slán Gafol, Agus Lánche.